one day I got a call from Hans Zimmer and saying, oh, I love your film Shame and I would like to work with you. I said, okay. And I just put it in my back pocket. And I called him one day and said to Hans, I would very much like you to be involved in this film. So without him knowing what the film was really about, we just talked. And through the ideas, the music emerged, the music came. Days ago, I was with my family in my home. Now you tell me all is lost. I was just daunted by the importance of the story. And I think it was important to keep the timelessness of the story alive. And to just figure out a little bit how to help an audience to get inside this character, to live just for a moment in this impossible situation, to be living under those circumstances. And the courage the man had. If you want to survive, do and say as little as possible. Well, I don't want to survive. I want to live. On this movie, what was actually really important is to use very traditional instruments. The whole thing is just basically based on strings and a little bit of woodwinds here and there and a little bit of percussion here and there. Solomon playing the strings wasn't really the important nature for me. If he had played the flute, I wouldn't have written a woodwind score. It just felt the strings were right. It's coincidental that he happens to be a great violinist. And actually, for me as a musician, listening to the pre-records they had done with the violin, and my violinist was commenting on it as well, as how well those things were played and how sophisticated they were. <laughs> Solomon has a theme, and it's really the theme that runs all the way through the movie, and everything that happens in one way or the other is felt, seen, perceived by Solomon and his theme. And so the theme takes on different colors. So the theme starts at the beginning, and it does end at the end. There's a complete cyclical nature to it. Steve speaks as a visual artist, and he knows how to set that language into motion. You're saying, imagine it's a paintbrush on a canvas, and just the way the paintbrush leaves the canvas, that's how that note should go. And you're forever talking to an artist, and I get that. And the most useful conversation, in a funny way, is the conversation where we don't use words, where I sit next to him and we play music, and I can feel what he's feeling. This is feeling right for this movie, this is feeling wrong for this movie. And those little tweaks and those little nuances we can adjust. And him just encouraging performance. And he does that brilliantly. 